Blue for the seven. Blue for the eight. Hey, hey, hey. Touchdown. I I don't know what that was. That was that was something. Um. Okay. I want to say, let's please put on the brakes. Stop. I'm not telling you to get off the train. I'm just saying slow it down. I like today's quarterbacks, these young guys. You know, you want to talk about Baker Mayfield. You want to talk about Patrick Mahomes, uh, Josh Allen, uh, yeah, uh, Sam Darnold, Lamar Jackson, like, and then, of course, other guys, you know, Jared Goff and so on. Look, they're going to be great players, but can we just do one small little thing? It's still too early to jump the gun and start comparing them to guys like John Elway, Dan Marino, Joe Montana. They're not those guys. Baker Mayfield, he's not Brett Favre. Baker Mayfield is Baker Mayfield. It's just the media portrays him as this guy who's only played like six quarters. He's never played in a playoff game. He's never been in a harsh uh, playing environment with bad weather. You know, it, it just, he hasn't played a full season yet. Uh, he hasn't been dealing really with bad injuries. Look, all these guys, I'm sure they're gonna do great. And I'm, it's gonna be awesome seeing them the next five, 10, 15, so on years. The NFL is at least smart on this, though. Ratings are going up. People are starting to watch football again, you know, because <clears throat> it's exciting. Think about high-scoring games, you know, each team going back, back and forth, you know, kind of like arena football a little bit, though, except it's not it. The only difference is the rules, in a way, change where it's – favored for the offense especially when it comes to the quarterback protecting the quarterback you know protecting your little baby you know with a little baby no more smash hard hitting football though just ask clay matthews how he likes the rules huh <laughs> that's it's it's just evolving and whether you like it or not if you're a fan of watching football this is what you're gonna have to deal with the now yeah you can still watch the old stuff you know classic videos of you know football 10 15 20 so on years ago when it wasn't like that though and I mean of course the old guys are gonna say like <laughs> excuse me I just bad call you know like Shannon Sharp praising his old teammate John Elway that yeah John was playing in today's game five six touchdown passes a game all the time because the rules were favored him but how do we know that you know or, you know, how would Dan Marino be, like, if you take, like, a 1984 Dan Marino, put him in 2018, how would we compare him to how Patrick Mahomes has been playing the first four games of this season, you know? Would Dan Marino be throwing 13, 14 touchdown passes, zero picks, and just playing like crazy? I don't know. But it's the what-ifs, should-ifs, and so on that we just got to set aside. But I was uh, saying before the beginning of the video, let's just put the brakes on. Just put the brakes on this, you know. Let's see how the season rolls out. Because, I mean, Patriots, Patriots are already getting back on that roll. I mean, they had a first few slumps, you know, the first few games, but it's like they're getting out Edelman back. Brady's finding his grooves. Like, all right, let's, let's get things going. Let's come on, come on. We got it. We got it. And they just could win their seat, their uh, division again, like they always do. I mean, shocker, right? So let's just put the brakes on. Enjoy the season. Let's stop comparing these young guys to Hall of Famers. Let's compare them to the better versions of themselves, how they're going to be in the future. Could we do that? Is it that fucking hard? I hope not. All right. Anyways, have much love. I'm out. Bye.